Okay, so let's use all of the rules that we just got to graph two functions. Now, the first thing we have to recognize is what the library function is. And we can tell by the operation that's taking place. Let's notice, like here, there is the exponent 2 telling us, okay, this is a transformation of x squared of our parabola. Down here, we've got a square root telling us that it's a transformation of our square root function. If I had a third power, I would know it's a transformation of my cubic function. If I had the absolute value symbols, I know that it's a transformation of my absolute value function. So we know we're going to transform our, um, our x squared, our parabola function for this one. Now let's identify what everything is. First of all, Let's notice the plus 1 out to the side. That is going to make this thing go up 1. All right, so we know we're going to go up 1. All right, um, this minus 3 that's inside of the square is going to make it go right 3. And then this minus 2, well, the minus sign is going to flip it. So we're going to flip it across the x-axis. We can reflect it across the x-axis, and then the 2 is going to make it skinnier or closer to the y-axis. Now, you can do these in steps, and it's kind of important that you do them in a certain order. So, the first thing you should always do is your horizontal shift. Second thing you should do is your um, reflection and um, skinny or, or fatter, so compression or your stretching. Okay. And then the last thing you should do is your vertical shift. All right, so let's do our horizontal shift. And I've kind of um, opened up some paint here because for some reason this won't allow me to draw inward. Okay, so um, I'll go here. And the first thing we're going to do is our horizontal shift, which is right three. So we're going to draw a regular parabola, and I'll use multiple colors here. My regular x squared, and I know this isn't going to be perfect, looks something like that. All right, so we're going to shift it according to this. We're going to shift it um, right three. All right, so I'll uh, one, two, three, which means this vertex right here where it hits at zero, zero is going to move over here. I'll um, change to another color for my new picture. And this is, of course, not very perfect drawing like this. Okay. All right. So there's my new one, the purple one. Now let's go to reflecting it. We needed to both make it skinnier and flip it across the x-axis. And we can do that in one step. So let me go to paint. I'm going to make it skinnier than I have it here, and I'm going to flip it downward. So I'll make that green. So I now have a downward parabola. I'm going to draw it skinnier, something like this. And then lastly, we want to do the vertical shift. So our vertical shift was up one. All right, so let's look at our picture here. Uh, I'll change the last picture to orange. All right, so my vertex is right here for the green graph. I'm going to shift it up one place. So the vertex will now be here. It'll still be downward and have that same shape. And the orange graph is the final parabola. Okay. And, you know, you can do something like this with colored pencils or multiple graphs if you like. Well, really, in your homework, it's probably going to give you a multiple choice, and you have to decide which one was the proper graph after being shifted. All right, so let's look at another one. So now we've got this one. Now, let's notice that it's got the square root in it, meaning it's the square root function. So we're going to start with the square root function, but let's identify everything that we have here. That minus 1 out to the side tells us down 1. It's the vertical shift inside of the square root that's our horizontal shift that minus three so that's going to be right three remember our horizontal shifts are always the opposite and then a three out in front is going to make this thing skinnier now 
It's going to be easier, though, to think of closer to the y-axis um, because thinking of the square root function as getting skinnier is kind of hard to, it, it doesn't look like it's getting skinnier. It's getting closer to the y-axis. So let's go ahead and draw our square root function and start these shifts. And we're going to start with that horizontal shift. We're going to shift it three places to the right. Let me um, do a new one here. Okay, so um, normally our um, square root function is just a rising hill like that, but we're going to move it three places to the right. So I'll just change that to red, and I'll draw the same picture starting right there. All right, so there's my rising hill. All right, now our next thing we want to do is the stretching portion. And let me go back here. We were making this closer to the y-axis as we stretched it, and then we'll go down one. So closer to the y-axis, I'll make this one green, makes this one kind of look like it's going up as a bigger hill. Closer to the y-axis is going to pull it in that direction. So it's still going to be a rising hill, but it's it's like it's being pulled toward that y-axis at a faster rate than it was back here. All right, and now finally let's do our vertical shift, which I believe it was down one. Yes, down one. So down one. I'll make this one purple. All right, so my green graph was my last one. I'm going to move it down one, which means its starting point is now here. And again, though, it's going to look similar to the green there, just, um, just rising from a different point. And so that final purple graph ends up being my last graph. 